Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my Hotwire uh, CNC fire wing I built a few years ago. It was the first test from my Hotwire CNC machine. And uh, I just built it as a quick test. Yeah, and it, uh, it's been absolutely brilliant. I've flown for three and a half years nearly, and it's the thing I fly nearly all the time. But unfortunately, about three weeks ago, uh, through pilot error, I crashed it and it went down into a field full of crops and I couldn't find it. Here's a bit of video of it flying. You can see how well it flies. Um, I had to leave it in the field because uh, it was full of rapeseed or canola as it's sometimes called. And uh, so I thought I'd go out with my FPV plane and have a look, see if I could find it. Um, I didn't have much hopes of finding it really, but so this is some footage of uh, the field where it went into uh, um, and it's the crops quite tall it doesn't really look it from up here but um, I flew over quite a number of times trying to find it and uh, I think there's a little arrow coming up here where I think it yeah just a, somewhere around about there it went in but um, Try to get through the field from uh, the roadside, and uh, just no hope in finding it. So, uh, unfortunately, I had to leave it. But we knew the crop was going to be cut in a few weeks' time, so hopefully there was a chance I might get it back. So I decided that that was it for the day to land and uh, go home and perhaps have a a deeper look at the video on a big screen see if I could see anything but I couldn't really spot anything but two weeks later she was found by one of the club members and uh, here she is <laughs> you can see not looking very healthy so out with the CNC machine again and start to build another this time I've decided to use the white foam instead of the pink XPS foam and here's the the design. I use Profili Pro 2 uh, to get the G-code out for the wing and then transfer that into my CNC machine uh, which then uh, produces the wing. Here I am setting up the uh, the machine for the foam. When you're doing tapered wings it's a bit more challenging on a CNC machine because you, you have to make sure you get the the block of foam uh, at the right distances from the towers otherwise you know depending where it is you'll end up with a um, a wing that's either too large or too small uh, the software I use Profilius is really quite good and um, there's a new version out called dev wing foam now but uh, I've got the evaluation version but uh, it's still Profili still does what I need at the moment, so I, I might upgrade to DevWing Fire later. But um, I'm placing these old batteries where the foam needs to be placed, uh, and what I use is double-sided tape to hold the foam to the uh, support blocks underneath. So by using the batteries there, they, I mean they're, they're square, so I can get the block lined up. Uh, at the right distances from the wire and the right distances from the tower. Right, so I'm now loading the G code into uh, the PC. Uh, so you have a G code for the uh, the left wing core and the right wing core so this is the uh the LiPo battery charger I use. She has a phone cup option on there which works really well. 
I generally find with the what th very thin wire I use, two amps at 13 volts, uh, I think it's 2.1 amps on 13 volts, gives the right setting. I'm just testing to make sure the wire is hot before I set the machine going. And this is Mac 3, uh, which I've used since the beginning, and the, you know, it is really good. And there we go. The machine has now started. It's not very exciting watching foam being cut, so in the next section I've actually speeded it up. Well, let's, let's have a look now and see what, what we've actually got out. I've made quite a few uh, wings and that with a CNC machine now, so uh, the more you do, the more experience you get at it, and you know the, the, the cuts tend to come out better. You do get through a hell of a lot of foam when you first try and the CNC machine out. Uh, wherever I am these days, I always see if I can spot any foam uh, around and pick up pieces to for testing. The software uh, Profili, you can actually rotate the uh, wing so that you, you don't have to have a massive amount of travel to get the wing out, but that does mean you do have to cut the wing uh, profiles correctly afterwards. <laughs> well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, the next one, uh, I'll show you the actual build of the wing and then we'll uh, do a maiden flight with it and see if it flies as well as the old one. Okay, bye.